December the 18th, 2019. A couple of days ago I mentioned that today we would be getting uh, an increased solar wind speed from the coronal openings on the Earth-facing side of the sun. And they're coming in now, they're over 500 kilometers per second, guys. And you're in the million mile per hour range at that point. There's been a lot of talk of pressure in uh, Cascadia, the Cascadia fault zone. And uh, the last video I did about that, scientists were saying that that could trigger the San Andreas also. It makes sense because they're connected right there at uh, the Northern California border. Now, with this, it's not large quakes that we're dealing with yet. We've got a 4.3. This is 11 uh, kilometers north, northwest of uh, Shalomi, Ca uh, California, guys. And smaller quakes, and the newest one on the map is right there where you basically go from the San Andreas to part of the Cascadia, the southern Cascadia fault zone. So as the, we go through this increased solar wind, be careful if you're in one of these areas. Just keep an eye on the situation. Be aware of it because nobody knows the day or time. But we do see more and more reports about this area uh, showing up. Now, if you look, you've got we also if we've got a 5.9 uh, New Zealand, 5.5 southeast of Easter Island. You look at China here. You've got uh, 5.2s, Nago, Japan, a 5.1. is and All of this is the ring of fire. You've got um, quakes up in Alaska, 4.0. But the uh, really the one that concerns me the most, simply because of where it's at, is this one right there, the 4.3 in California. So as we go through the day and into tomorrow, be aware of what we're, the Earth is going through with our weakened shields because of grand solar minimum. Let's take a look at that. Now, the last three graphs at the bottom of this, the orange, yellow, and uh, the green, all have to do with solar wind. The yellow is the solar wind speed, and your average is around 325 or 325 kilometers per second on a normal day. But you can see here, going in, uh, to the 18th, this is universal time, we're starting to see a sudden rise and this always gives us some quakes now it was a slow because it's a slow rise and not a sudden wall like we saw the other day with the 7.6 quake that uh that helps um the quakes not be so strong because it's a gradual increase in pressure but we're starting to see it pop up around the uh, ring of fire today but if we go through the issue at 541 528, we're still going to be going through this, 470, 551 right in there, some of your strongest right in this area with a couple of spikes. But again, the density or the thickness in the protons, I think they're measured in centimeters cubed. So leading up to the rise, again, in yellow of the speed, the proton density, the energy that's released um, from the sun, from the in the solar wind, increased and then suddenly dropped off and that's what they kind of are opposite of each other in many ways but it does show you here in this spike in the early morning hours when these quakes started popping up that uh, we had an increase in density also and the bottom is temperature it always goes with the solar wind the more solar wind the more temperature uh, or the increase in temperature of the solar wind itself is indicated in the green now you're looking at current images of our sun. This is from the Solar Dynamics Observatory, a satellite in space between us and the sun, technically at L1, that um, gives us these Earth-facing perspectives. What you're seeing, the darker areas at both poles of the sun and to the right, are these coronal openings. Everything else, you can see the looping magnetism as energy is released from the sun. That Those magnetic loops capture the energy and return it to the surface where they have what we would call i guess a clear sky or an opening in that canopy the solar wind comes straight out of it but we're dealing with this particular hole right there now we're, we're pretty much centered with this but because we're 93 mi million miles away from the sun on the average and always remember it's the sun facing or the daylight side of the earth that's going to take the brunt now it will shift pressure around the planet but if you think about Fukushima, everyone has seen those videos of the tsunami coming in and all the boats and everything, broad daylight. It caught them, I think, around 2.45 p.m. in the afternoon as I tracked 
a series of X flares that left the sun and struck the island exactly at the predicted time and the worst natural disaster in, hum in uh, human history occurred. But it's normally the most pressure is uh, on the uh, in the daylight side or the sun facing side of the earth. And that's uh, for obvious reasons. We're taking the brunt of it. But watch this, uh, these quake zones, guys, around the world. It's a heads up. Be safe.